West Region. First round action, Ralph Engelstad Arena in Grand Forks, North Dakota. UND hadn't hosted a regional. Grand Forks hadn't hosted one in decades. Fans were just so excited to see an NCAA tournament game here. And then you look at the field and you've got North Dakota, Minnesota, Michigan. Uh, and of course the team that everyone ended up talking about it when it was all over, Holy Cross. We had an older team. You know, we had kids who had played for me for two, three, four years. Half of that team had been to the NCAAs in 04. And I think having all those kids back two years later, they knew what to expect going into the game and, and felt a little more comfortable in that limelight. We talked about it right from when we won our league that we thought we had a chance to win. So it wasn't, uh, we weren't just showing up to, to participate, you know? The Gophers were fantastic that year. Uh, just a loaded team. They were number one all year, if you remember, like all year. Like they were preseason number one, ran through the year number one. And then I want to say they lost like two or three out of their last four. So we probably caught, I mean, like anything else, we caught them at a good time. The UND was playing the late game against Michigan. Everyone's kind of waiting for that Gophers to blow out Holy Cross the first game and get on to North Dakota, Michigan. You know, you have that type of profile on their, their roster. It's, it's human nature. They can't not look past you. We scored first, which is uh, always um, always big. Dale Reinhardt makes it one nothing Holy Cross. This is exactly what the Crusaders were hoping for, to draw first blood. Yeah, look at this into the crowd here for the Sioux. I mean, this is like playing at home. The support of the Nodak fans, it, it, was, it was incredible. When we hit the second period, it was a pretty even game. When they went up 3-2, we answered. We are going to overtime. Holy Cross, the underdog here tonight, matching the Gophers blow for blow. The whole play started in our defensive zone, and our D-man fell down. And their guy kind of shake and bake him. And then he jumped up and poked it off his stick. It, it was a um, culmination of how that team played. Here comes McGregor in over the line on the left wing side. Try to throw it out in front. They score! In one of the biggest upsets, maybe the biggest, in NCAA men's hockey history, four seed Holy Cross has knocked off top seed Minnesota 4-3 in overtime. I remember just looking up in the crowd and the crowd was going bonkers. Like it was, it was insane. I'm like, where are we? Like they, they drop us into the middle of Worcester here or something. Like people were literally going nuts. and. I mean, it wasn't necessarily love of the Crusaders as much as just absolute hate of the Gophers. But hey, who cares? You know, it was it was great for us. That was the first time a four had beaten a one. I was sitting next to the Holy Cross student announcers. They freaked out after the goal. Their clip like went viral uh, in the early days of going viral. McGregor from the right side, centering feet. Oh, oh, my God! Oh, my God! Yeah! I don't want to downplay our guys either. We, that wasn't some like Cinderella thing. Like we, we had a good team and, and it was Cinderella thing, but the reason it happened was was those players I had. I mean, they, they were a good solid team, like what all the parts really made for a huge sum. As Rocky said, we didn't, we didn't want to rematch. We didn't want to play the next day. You know what I mean? <laughs>